after 6 o'clock. Back to our coverage of the Indiana State Fair and what today, you know, each day is some special day. Right. Today's day. Yeah, today's cheese day. Say <laughs> no more. Emily Kinzer is live at the Dairy Bar this morning at the State Fairgrounds. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, they feature a new grilled cheese every year for Cheese Day. Check this out right here. This guy is called the Mouse Trap. Look at this cheesy goodness. Oh my goodness, you should have seen it when it first came off the grill. It was so stringy and just so good, I can imagine. I haven't tried that one yet, but I did try one earlier. So we're gonna chat with Jenny Browning here, um, kind of about what happened today. Talk a little bit about the featured grilled cheese for this year and um, kind of the nuts and bolts of that and how it came about. Sure, so that ooey gooey cheesiness over there is the mouse trap, and it's actually the creation of Andrew Keener, who is a dairy farmer from Fort Wayne. We had the ultimate grilled cheese contest. He won out of chefs and, and cooks everywhere. We have an, actually a, the uh, ultimate grilled cheese contest, I guess, battle off um, Saturday. So if you want, that's two to four as well. So we'll feature a new grilled cheese sandwich. But it's basically Harvardi, um, cheddar, Colby, so many cheeses, and also on Texas toast. So oh that goodness. is the, the, the grilled cheese sandwich. I'll have to try that next. I tried the colossal and that was so good. I've never had a grilled cheese at like 5 a.m. But <laughs> it was a must for everything. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about this. Sure. I told Lauren we'd show you this this hour. Um, all the grilled cheeses go through this, the butter wheel. That's show right. Okay, so normally I would have gloves on for so we're not going to be serving these to the public. So this is how the butter wheel works. So um, when you're turning out about three to four thousand grilled cheese, you butter each side and we have a process where people actually end up putting the grilled cheese together. Wow. So then you would, they're all folded nicely so that you can just grab them. Boom, boom, and then we wrap it and then that's when we put it in the fridge. Refrigerator so that it gets uh, a little bit cold and then we put them kind on the grill. to be ready because you guys are cranking out what thousands every day. Absolutely, yes. So we do that with the help of groups that come in and volunteer. Okay. Today is Ron Colley High School, so they will help. There are about 50 volunteers, and so that's one other thing that we do. We train new sets of volunteers to make every grilled day. cheeses, milkshakes, but they're happy to do it. So by the end of the day, everybody is a grilled cheese expert. I think I need to get some of that training so I can kind of take that back home. But uh, last thing right here. Whoop. Running into things over here. So let's talk about the kids' meal. Sure. If maybe uh, the kid doesn't want to come in, obviously get the colossal. What's yeah. their uh, options here? So we have, uh, I think, the best prices at the fairgrounds. So we have $4 kids' meal. And what that comes with is a grilled cheese sandwich, milk, and applesauce, and also a fun toy for them. Ooh, so and, exciting. And also, if you have your, your child a sippy cup or a, a bottle, we will fill it up for free. Okay. Perfect. So that's also something. All right. Well, I think by next hour, we'll be ready to make our grilled cheese. We've got the bread butter, the cheese on there, so stay with us. That's coming up next hour. Sounds good. Thanks, Emily. 612 right now. You know